Looking at the moon. Isn't that beautiful? Come see the moon. Come see the look, moon. Look at the craters. That he stands really right next to Newton in his role in creating a telescope that he says is used for the rest of us. John, it is such an honor to have you here each year at Skeleton. He started the whole uh, large telescope field for us amateurs. When I actually found my first deep sky object, I was hooked. And I was never the same again. His design was a priceless gift. Uh, he could have patented that design and uh, made a lot of money, but he just gave that idea away. These high school girls came and looked at the full moon. And since the moon was full, I told them that when the moon is full, you don't see the mountains nicely, but you see the glass bead detail. I said one third of the surface on the moon, one third of the surface on the moon is, is glass. I said it's all over glass, glass bead. And this girl says, how do you know that? I said, when the astronauts went there, they brought that stuff back. Someone went there. So they didn't know when that? There. She asked me twice. Okay, Colorado Brown and Snoop, uh, three minutes uh, going over the hill. Put her on down. Okay, step six percent, plenty fast. Contact. Stop. What you do see on the moon is when they scuff in the dirt, it just goes up and down. There is no dust up. And when that machine is running, the stuff goes up from behind the wheel, up like this. Because there's no air to keep the dust up there. What a ride, what a ride. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. 